Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you compare a Z-Wave or Zigbee device, even if you don't know the brand of the device or if there's no Homey app available for it. I should mention that this is for devices that have, um, let's call them basic capabilities. So smart plugs, smart lights, where you can turn them on and off, change the dimming functions, color, um, those kind of devices. Now for sensor devices, say door window sensors, motion sensors, temperature sensors, then you'll actually need a Homey app for because, well, they contain information and they send or try and communicate information to Homey that requires some translation. So Homey needs to know what the signals are that it's sending. So you can imagine that it's very hard to pair those devices, even if you don't know the brand and if there's no Homey app to back it up. So let me jump straight into how you can do this at home. Let's start with the smart plug and that's running on Z-Wave. So what you wanna do is head to devices, and hit the plus in the top right as if you're connecting any other device to Homey. Now in this case, I don't know the brand of the device. So what I'll do is I can tap on Homey and every Homey has that Homey app installed right from the get-go. So here you can actually add infrared devices and there's a database that you can search through of all kinds of infrared devices. I'll likely make a video on that in the future. There are also some virtual devices that you can be adding. This gets a little bit more technical if you're looking to do that, but it is possible right here. And then you'll see we have Z-Wave and Zigbee. Now let's start with Z-Wave. I'm gonna tap on it and hit connect. And with Z-Wave devices in general, it's quite a similar process. There's often a button on the device itself that you need to press three times. So let's do that. One, two, three. You'll see that I get a check mark in step one. Now you wanna repeat the process. So let's put it into learn mode again. One, two, three. I'll get two check marks and now the device is being added. So give it a moment for Homey to pair and connect to the device. Once that's complete, you'll see this screen. So Homey says, no compatible Homey app has been found for this device. It has been added as a basic Z-Wave device. Now that's quite important because what Homey does is it'll look through your installed Homey apps. And if you'll find the Homey app that actually corresponds to this device and has that device's drivers in that Homey app, then it'll actually pick up on that and add the device under that app in the right way. Now, in this case, it hasn't found it. So let me close this and let me show you what a basic Z-Wave device looks like. So you'll see that the name is basic Z-Wave device. And if I hold on it, I can actually interact with the device by turning it on and turning it off. Because it's a plug, those are my two functions. Now, secretly, I know that this plug has energy metering built into it. However, because I paired it as a basic Z-Wave device, I lose that functionality since Homey doesn't understand the energy information that it's trying to send over. So all I get is on-off capabilities because they're relatively standardized. Now let's connect up a Zigbee ball. So the same process, I'll hit the plus and select Homey. And in this case, I'm gonna choose Zigbee. Now again, you don't get any detailed pairing instructions if you're using this method. All you'll see is to put your Zigbee device in pair mode. So you'll need to refer to the instructions, figure out what pair mode is or learn mode, and then set the device up like that. Fortunately, this is the first time I'm connecting this bulb and often they're set up in learn mode right from the get-go. So all I need to do, turn it on, you'll see it flicker, and that means that the device is being added. Now, again, Homey could not find an app for the device, and so it's added as a basic Zigbee device. So now it's added as a basic Zigbee device. I can change the dim level. Let's dim it down a little bit. I can also turn the device off or on. And because it's an RGB bulb, I actually get those controls right here as well. And this is all without actually knowing the brand of that smart bulb. So fortunately, Homey knows basically the Zigbee capabilities of it and it can understand on-off controls, dim level, and color functions. So right from here, I can change it to blue or to red. And further, you can also create all kinds of flows with that device if you want to. Now, a great tip if you're adding devices using this method, it's not advised, but in some cases you have no alternative. You can go into the settings and change the name of the device to something that better suits your house. So let's call this a smart bulb. Um, color. You can also obviously change the zone. And don't forget that you can also select an icon that suits the device. So in this case, 
I'll select light bulb. And now, if I head back to my devices screen, you'll see it has the light bulb icon, a better name, and you can set up your devices in that way. I'll do the same with the Z-Wave device. Let's choose the plug icon and save it. I wanna show you a really cool feature about Homey. What I'm gonna do is start by removing the two devices I just connected, and we'll go through the process one last time. In this case, I'm actually gonna have the Homey app that belongs to the device. In the case of the smart plug, it's Fibaro. And in the case of the Zigbee Lite, it's Inner. And I'm gonna actually install both those apps and then pair them up as basic devices again. And you'll see that Homey basically knows the device, finds the app that belongs to it because I have it installed on my Homey, and then connects the device in the right way. So now I have both the Fibaro and Inner app installed on my Homey. And you might be wondering, how do I see what Homey apps I have installed? Let me quickly show you. So let's head to more and select apps. And here you'll see a list of all the Homey apps you have installed on your Homey. So you'll see as part of that list, Fibaro. And if I scroll down a little bit further, you'll see Inner listed. That means that I have both those apps installed. Now let's connect the same two devices using the same method that I showed you earlier. And let's see what happens this time. So set it up into pair mode. And then you'll see something different here. So now my wall plug has been added as a wall plug with the appropriate icon. So if I hold on it, I can even see power metering information here. So let me turn the light on, head over to the power, and in real time, you'll see the power consumption going through that plug. And that's because Homey actually understood the device you were trying to pair. It linked it up to the Homey app you have installed, and then it paired it as if you're pairing the correct device. The advantage of using the proper method, so going through the devices screen, searching for Fibaro, selecting that app, and then selecting the right device, is that you get presented with the unique pairing instructions for that device, which makes it so much easier to pair up different devices. It basically just gives you step-by-step -step how you should pair them, that makes life a lot easier than reading through the manual and trying to figure it all out yourselves. Now let me show you the inner bulb here. Now you'll notice that the device has been paired as an inner bulb. So it actually has the right inner icon. It has RGBW Z3 bulb. That's the type of device. If I head on into the device panel, I can turn it off and on, dim level, color functions. And obviously you can go right ahead and create some great flows. So I've shown you how you can pair up a Z-Wave device or a Zigbee device really easily. However, it's not recommended to use this method to pair up devices you know and there are Homey apps available for. This is really to be used as a last resort if, for instance, you can't find the brand or manufacturer on the device itself, or there is no Homey app available for that Zigbee or Z-Wave device. Often, you can connect them in this way. Now, to reiterate, sensor devices can be connected, but will not give any information to Homey, so really they're unusable. However, basic functionality like plugs or light bulbs can be added in this way. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video.